guys, welcome back to Embers and Ash. My name's Ashley, if you didn't know, and I'm going to declutter my closet again. So the reason I'm doing this declutter so close to my last one is because now we're actually like settled into fall and I've been dipping into my fall and winter clothes and now I know what I like and don't like and what I wear and what I don't wear. So I wanted to go through it and get rid of the stuff that I'm not wearing. Unlike my previous videos, I'm not gonna mound everything into a huge pile. I guess I kind of am. Specifically, I'm just not taking things off the hangers because that's a lot of work and I want to get this done while Rook is still happy. So we're gonna try and speed up the process. Um, yeah, and I'm gonna show you kind of category by category if that works. Also, like previous videos, I'm not gonna go into my athletic wear or work wear or pajamas because they don't change much. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go get clothes. Okay. These are all my shirts. I have a lot because that's all I wear. So, I have a plain black loose t-shirt. I actually have a second black t-shirt that might be in the wash, I'm not sure. Um, and I have two black t-shirts because one is loose fitting and one is tight fitting and I like having both options so I'm keeping both. Next up is my uh, Vancouver Island embroidered shirt, keeping that, still wear it a lot. Okay, so I have two blue t-shirts that are essentially the same. I don't know why I have two. I need to get rid of one. I think I'm gonna keep this one because it's a kind of more of a worn in, washed out blue and I kind of like that a bit better. Okay, this green t-shirt I wore so much uh, all summer long, but now after washing it a bunch, it's kind of gotten scratchy so I don't like wearing it anymore, so it's gonna go. I also have two white t-shirts. One is loose fitting and one is tight fitting and it's the same reason as the black shirts. I like having both options. This tight fitting one, I don't really like the fit of it or the style of it so much, um, but I'm gonna keep it until I find a replacement. I got this ribbed beige shirt that I love. Okay, this one is a like linen shirt and I don't know why I don't wear it more because it's really cute and it has buttons so it's super easy for breastfeeding. I'm gonna keep this and I'm gonna try and get more use out of it because I think I will when I remember to wear it. So this is the long sleeve I have. It's just simple black. Um, I'm gonna keep it. It does have a hole in it somewhere. It does have a hole in the sleeve but I have a sewing machine so Actually, I don't think I'd even use a sewing machine, but I have sewing equipment so I can fix this, which is what's so nice about being able to sew. Okay, so that's that for t-shirts. Next up is all my turtlenecks. And I have a lot of turtlenecks because I love wearing turtlenecks for fall and winter. We got this one that I thrifted last year and I still wear it a bunch, it's really comfortable. Okay, so this one I recently thrifted and it fit so nicely. I was so excited about it. And then I washed it and it shrank and now it doesn't fit. But I did some research online and found out there's a way to reverse the shrinking. So I'm gonna try that. If it doesn't work, I have to get rid of it. But I really hope it works because I love the fit. This guy is new. I really love this shirt. It's cream and it has the ribbed texture on it. Super cute. I got this green one that I also thrifted. I have a brown one which I also thrifted. <laughs> this black one I don't wear so much because the sleeves are a little short, but it is still kind of classy looking and I like wearing it to like a little more dressed up events. Not that there's, oh, there's no events anymore. Okay, you know what? This one I'm gonna hold on to, but if I don't wear it by December, I'm gonna get rid of it. Okay, so this one's cute. It's kind of like a mock neck and it's a short sleeve. Uh, but I don't wear it because I don't like sleeves this short, so I'm gonna ditch this one. Also, it's like kind of fancy and I don't really wear fancy clothes. This guy I thrifted last year as well. And then this one is one of those like really long turtleneck sweater things and I get a lot of use out of it. So, I only got rid of one turtleneck, but that's because I wear them a lot. <laughs> okay, sweaters. Here we go. This mustard sweater I wear all the time, that's obviously staying. This one I also really love the style for fall. This is my tried and true thrifted sweater. I've had it for 10 years and it is for sure staying. I don't know if I'll ever get rid of it. This is a 10 tree hoodie. I don't reach for it and it's kind of, it looks like too aged, I don't know, like or too worn. And I don't think I'm gonna wear it again, so I'm gonna get rid of this one. 
These are my two Lululemon sweaters. I don't wear them so much, but this is all I wore when I was pregnant because they're so long. So I'm for sure keeping them. Um, if I find that I don't wear them so much, I'll put them in my maternity drawer. I also have my Patagonia sweaters, which I'm definitely not getting rid of. These, this is basically like all my camping gear. Okay, never thrift out of season. I don't know why I do this. I bought this in the summer for uh, fall because I thought it was, you know, vintage and cute, but I'm not, I'm not gonna wear it. Oh, I also thought it'd be nice and like flowy for postpartum, but again, I shouldn't have bought it because I didn't know what my body was gonna look like. And then this bright red sweater, I don't wear often, but I wear it for Christmas things like Christmas Day, so I'm gonna keep this one. On to jackets, well, jackets and cardigans. I'm not gonna get rid of any of these, I already know I love them all. This is another one of those had it forever kind of clothing items. I got my corduroy jacket, my jean jacket, my lined jean jacket, and my leather jacket. So they're all staying. Okay, the last category from hanging clothes are dresses. I also have a couple of like special event things and um, my summer tops which are in there but I'm not gonna go through those. This dress I'm not gonna keep only because I can't wear it outside without like fearing that I'm gonna flash everyone. It has almost happened so I'm gonna get rid of this one. <laughs> this dress is like a bodycon dress which I really like. Um, I can't wear it right now because there's no way for me to breastfeed in this but I'm gonna keep it for when I can wear it again. This is very much a summer dress, so I'm not going to declutter it. This dress I've already worn once this fall, so that's staying. And I say like already worn once because I never wear dresses, so like it's really special when I have worn a dress. And then this guy I usually wear for um, Christmas parties. I don't know if we're gonna have Christmas parties this year, but I'm gonna keep it in case we do. Okay, now on to pants. Okay, so I recently got these mom jeans, and I love them so much, I'm not getting rid of them. <laughs> also, I had someone comment on one of my videos where I showed myself folding clothes, and they're like, you don't fold clothes very well, do you? I don't think they're actually being sassy about it, but I was like, no, I don't fold clothes well, I do it as quick as possible and put it in the drawer. And it works for me. <laughs> I also have these black corduroy jeans, or not jeans, but pants, and I'm not loving them as much as I loved them last year. If I find another pair of black pants, I'm probably going to replace these, but for now I'm keeping them. These are black Wrangler jeans that I thrifted thinking that I was going to take them in and make them fit me, but they're actually so large on me. You know, you can't try clothes on in the thrift store right now, so I didn't know how big they were. And I think they're too big to take in because I found with pants, if they're too oversized, everything gets a little wonky when I try and resize them. So I'm gonna unfortunately get rid of these guys. Okay, these are my Tommy Hilfiger jeans, which are super cool. I haven't worn them yet though. I'm gonna try them on real quick and see how I feel. Okay, so they're definitely too big. Okay, so I'm gonna keep these. They are a little big, I need to take them in some more. Um, but I just really love the little... One second. Okay. We have a special guest, as per usual. That's cute, hey? Do you like your seat? Okay, Rook's gonna hang out with us for a while. You can like barely see him. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna keep these pants because I think they're funky and cool. They have this like hammer holder strap and like the worker man pockets. I don't know, I think they're really cool. I have to take them in a little bit, but I'm gonna keep them. And also they're like a really comfortable jean as opposed to a really tight jean, but they still have structure to them, which is cool. Okay, I also have these Wranglers which I just have not gravitated towards. I'm not so into this wash of jean, so I'm gonna get rid of them. These are my Levi pants that I wear all the time. My uh, recent purchase are a very similar wash, as you can see. So if I find that I'm only wearing these ones, I'm probably gonna get rid of these ones, but 
we will wait and find out. And then these are my only pair of skinny jeans. I wore them all the time last year. Uh, I haven't grabbed them once yet, but I fell in love with these pants. So I'm gonna keep them and see if I get more wear out of them. And then lastly, I have my pair of green pants. I don't know why I don't wear these more. I always forget that I own them. So I need to keep these like at the front of my drawer. I also have my Levi's uh, jogger pants. I wear these all the time. They're super comfortable um, to like lounge around in. So yeah, they just have like the little elastic cuff there. So yeah, we're going to keep these ones as well. So that's everything I'm getting rid of. Let's take a look. I think I got rid of something from every category, which is really good. And a lot of these items are things that I have gotten good use out of for a long time and now I'm just ready to part with. So I feel a lot better about that. Okay, so that's everything. Thank you guys for stopping by. If you want more decluttering content, maybe go check out my last closet declutter, see what I got rid of then, what I've kept this whole time. I hope you got some decluttering inspiration from this video and I will catch you in the next one. Bye.